What's up guys, Nerdy Noob here. I'm so angry because I just filmed the video and then I just deleted it. <sighs> so frustrating. Ugh, okay. So I'm gonna do my best to recreate this. I know I'm not gonna do a good job. Anyways, uh, in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing the 2016 June Asian box. This is a new box, which is why I'm really upset. A new box to my channel. This is a new Asian snack box. This company has two different boxes. They have a snack box and they have a beauty box. I got the snack box because, you know, I'm not super into beauty products. I'm gonna do my best to recreate this. I already ate half the stuff. I've been sitting here snacking. All right, so let me give you some details about the box since it's new. There's three different pricing options for the snack box. There's a mini, a regular, and a premium. I got the regular. The mini box is $15 a month. The regular box is $25 a month, and the premium is $35 a month. It's free shipping in the US. Their beauty box, there's just one pricing option, and it's $25 five dollars a month so those are the pricing options pretty standard same as most of the other snack boxes this is the card that we got in it uh, it lists the different snacks here and then the different levels of snack box this was the box I already put all the snacks away um, so I can't even do my spiel I guess I could put everything back in the box there was also yellow confetti in here which I threw away because you know it gets all over the place Favorite snacks I put here. All right, this is a terrible. Once you cut the tape and you open up the boxes, what you're gonna see, I feel terrible right now. I feel so bad. I'll go and put all the pricing details in the description below. I'm starting to sweat now because I'm upset. All right, let me show you what's in the box. So, in the we're gonna go in the order, and then I'll tell you what's in the premium box since I didn't get that. The first item in the mini box was. A pack of high chews. These are banana flavored, which is definitely not my thing. Focus. Banana flavored. So, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of banana flavored. I love high chews, but I don't really like banana. The second item were these bourbon petite cookies. So, these things are freaking delicious. I've had these before, but I don't know if I've had this specific flavor. But this is what they look like when you open them. They're like really small cookies. They smell like chocolate chip cookies. And they taste like crispy chocolate chip cookies, which is... Well, I don't know. I like them. They're really good. I ate a whole bunch of them already. The next item that we had, which I ate the whole thing because I love this, it was crispy <laughs> olive oil and salt seaweed. I ate them. They were delicious. The next item was a Pico Crunch Milk Candy. So that's what that looks like. They're all individually wrapped, which is nice. That's what the wrapper looks like. Now, I ate this and I did not like it at all, but, you know, for the video, I'll eat it again. Look, I'm starting to sweat because I'm so upset right now. So this is what it looks like. It's a little white ball. And the, the interesting thing is, now that I'm doing this again, I guess I can do this. The shell is a candy shell, but it's not a thick candy shell, so you can actually bite into it. And um, inside, it's like, oh, there's cat hair. It's like a softer version of some kind of candy, and it tastes heavily of milk. I'm not a fan of milk. I don't like the flavor of milk, so I wasn't a fan of that candy, and I'm still not a fan of that candy. This is, can you tell that this is a new shirt? I'm all over the place. I literally just opened this shirt up to wear it for this video. This is, this is going so well right now, guys. It's going so well. Anyways, the next item that we got in the mini box, it's actually the last item that we got, is Panda Chocolate Cookies. Now, I've received these a lot. I decided to open these ones in this video, and these actually ended up being different than ones that I'm used to. So this is the pack. These are the cookies. I actually thought that these were going to be like the other ones which were really crispy cookies, but it wasn't. It's more of like a biscuit cookie, and then it actually tasted of white chocolate. Kind of like Hershey's Hugs. That's what it tastes like in my mouth. So that was your mini box. The next box is your medium box, so you get everything in the mini box plus... These potato snacks, which I love these. I already ate almost the entire bag. They're like the little like Calbee shrimp chips that look like french fries. These ones have seasoning. They taste of, um, they smell like, mm, they smell like onion. And they taste of onion and garlic. So I'm a fan of these. You can see the seasoning on them, but that's not a whole lot. I wish I had a little bit more seasoning. But this is a good one. I really enjoy that a lot. Next, we got the Koala March matcha flavor. I did not open these, and I'm still not going to open them because I don't really like uh, matcha green tea. It's basically like Hello Pandas. Then we got the Fujio 
Look 24C chocolate. These came in this fancy box and fancy individually wrapped. I'll show you one of these. So it's a blue wrapper. When you open it, it has these little cubes of chocolate that look like they're melting a little bit. And it was almost like a truffle. I really liked the inside of it. It's just like a soft filling. I'm not a huge fan of the taste of it. I love the texture. It like melts in your mouth. But I'm not a huge fan of the taste of the chocolate. It's not bad. It's just not, I'm not a huge fan. All right. Then we got a pack of baked rice crackers. We got two of these. I opened one. I'm not going to open these ones in this video. These are rice crackers that have that sugary glaze, and I was not a fan. I've never been a fan of this type of rice cracker growing up. I just don't like the sweet on it. I, I would rather just have the um, rice cracker be savory. So, yeah. And the one that I opened was a little bit stale. I don't know if this one's stale, but the other one was a little bit stale, and it was really hard to eat. And then the last item in this month's box was this. It's gum. This was the wrapper. I think I've received this before. Watering Kiss Mint is what this says. Why isn't it focusing? There it is. Watering Kiss Mint. So this gum was, I think it was grape flavored is what I thought. And this is what it looks like. They're like half the size of American sticks of gum. When you open it, it's, it's like your standard Japanese gum. There's no grooves. It's very smooth. It's very thin. It's very soft. I wasn't planning on eating that, but... It's a little bit thicker than your normal Japanese gum that's like really, really thin. A little bit more substance to it. It's very tangy. So I'm just eating it now too. It tastes of Asian grape. It's definitely Asian grape. But it's really, it's a little bit tart. I don't mind this at all. It reminds me of Sanrio. Like whenever I eat gum like this, it reminds me of Sanrio. All right, so that was everything that's in your medium box. Um, so that was everything that I got. Now, I did not get the premium box. So let me show you or tell you because I don't have pictures of what came in the premium box. So in the premium box, you got everything in the mini box, everything in the medium box. And then you also got the Mayoli coffee drink. It's a creamy, smooth coffee beverage made with fresh milk. Then you got Shin Instant Ramen, soft noodles and a rich, spicy beef and mushroom broth, which I wish I would have gotten that because that sounds delicious. Then you got the Doramon Choco Snack, Airy Crispy wafer balls covered in a delicious chocolate layer. I think I've received that before, but I'm not 100% sure. It also came with Pokemon rice seasoning, Pokemon themed seasoning that adds flavor and fun to rice. That sounded kind of good to me. And then the last one was Jagabi potato crisps, lightly seasoned potato crisps that are great for snacking. I don't know if I've ever received that. I don't usually remember the brand name, but that wouldn't have been bad. So that was all the items in the box. Now, when I rated this box, I gave it a four out of five noobs. Here's the reasoning. Uh, we got a good amount of items. I think it was 10 items for the medium, which is $25. So that's not too bad. Some of the items were a little bit smaller, so that would be my one complaint. I We got two savory items in this box, which also isn't too bad, because some of the other ones, like the Japan Crate or the Tokyo Treat, they'll give you more items and less savory snacks. So I'm actually pretty happy with the two savory snacks that we got. And I did get some newer items items that I've never received before. So I enjoyed that because that rarely happens. Usually I get a lot of duplicates. So I would say a four to five noobs. I I think they could have given a couple more items, just maybe like one or two more items. I don't know if that defeats the purpose of how many they say they're going to give. That would be my one thing. So four to five noobs. I think that's pretty good. It's kind of hard for snack boxes to get more than that. If it had more savory items, it would be higher. Like if it came with five savory items, this box would probably be a 4.5 out of five noobs. But of course it didn't because that's natural. It's normal with uh, snack boxes. So at the end of the day, this is a snack box. I don't know if this is a specifically a Japanese snack box or just an Asian snack box. These were all Japanese snacks. So I don't, I'm not 100% sure to be 100% honest. I'll try to research it more. I actually enjoyed this box. I wouldn't mind adding this box to my channel. I just made a video saying that I was going to minimize the amount of snack boxes I had. So I'll have to look into it. But it's not a bad box and I actually, I like it. I mean, it's nice to have another Japan box because I've had a lot of the Japanese snack boxes so it's nice to have another Japanese snack box option out there for you and again this box also makes beauty products uh, where they send you beauty products that are popular in Asia so that could be something if you're interested. I've never known a box to be a beauty box and or a snack box. I thought that was interesting. It's pretty neat. Um, before I go I wanted to show you this because I really was in love with this. So we got this in the box as well, and I was reading it in the video that I deleted. Basically, in every month you get a tag. And it's very similar to Nerd Block, how they have those puzzle pieces, but I like this a little bit better. So you get a tag, and there's two months in the year where they'll pick 
uh, random people and they'll give either a red tag or a blue tag. So the red tag is in December and you have a 30% chance of getting it and the blue tag is in June and you have an 8% chance of getting it. And what you do is you collect these tags and you have a chance to win different things. So like if you get 11 yellow tags and one red tag, you can get a free mini snack box. If you get five yellow tags and one blue tag, you can get three free months of a medium snack box. If you get eight yellow tags and a blue tag, you can get six free months of either a medium snack box or the beauty box. And if you get 10 of these yellow, one of the red, and one of the blue, you can receive a year free of either a medium snack box or a beauty box. And that's pretty valuable. So I actually really enjoy that because I love when boxes have like cool competitions like that. I'm totally into that. So I was a huge fan of that too. That made me kind of excited about this box even more. All right, guys, I'm sorry. This is probably, this is the first time I've ever just flat out deleted uh, a video from my card like I did. I, I mean, I've had audio problems in the past, but I've never just flat out deleted it. I just completely formatted my card and I, yeah. Anyways, so I apologize because this probably isn't as great as it could have been. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to click the like button below. If you want to see more unboxing videos, go and check out my channel. I have a whole bunch on there. And you should subscribe. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys thought about this box. Does anybody have this box? It's definitely not as well known as the other main Japanese snack boxes. Like Japan Crate and Tokyo Tree and Skosh... Skosh Box? Skosh Box? Skosh Box. I don't know how to say it. Um... But it's another option there, so I like finding new options because, you know, you don't want to get tied down to the same box all the time. I've noticed that sometimes I start doing reoccurring items, that's not as fun. So, just another option out there for you if you're interested. I heard the beauty box is pretty cool, but I don't do any of that, so. But yeah, let me know if you've had any of these snacks or if you get this box. I'm just interested to find out if anyone gets this. And remember, if you subscribe to my channel and your subscriptions aren't blocked or set to private, you'll make it onto my thank you to subscribers page, which is coming up right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!